This is Han from Newton Thoughts. Thank you very much for listening. I'm going to be chatting today about sequential profit hacks. So the first question is why I chose DSI or sequential in the first place. Um, well, first of all, they're very sturdy and durable synthesizers and they just have a great sound. They have loads of possibilities and that's what attracted me to them the most. Their customer service is amazing. Uh, so that's really important to me because if something goes wrong, I want to know that I can count on them to help me out. Right, so the second question is, how am I using it? This is my actual setup. This is more or less what I'm looking at when I'm on stage. Uh, so I've got the Prophet X as my main keyboard, and then I've got the Tempest by Dave Smith Instruments as uh, my drum machine, but I mostly use it as a second synth. And it's going through a Zoom MS70 CDR multi-effect unit where you can program your different uh, effects and uh, it's a good addition for the Tempest. So as you can see, I've got my unwanted song set up here. I've got uh, my right hand side is uh, the theme solo part and then the left hand side is a bass synth which is actually doubled with a distorted guitar that I actually sampled going through my Paul Evolver synth. So this is how it sounds. Basically, I've got the Tempest So the third question is, what is one of my favorite things about it? It's uh, kind of hard to choose, but at the moment I've got the Polyvolver, the Tempest and the Prophet X, and they just all have a great variety of sonic possibilities. And that's what I love about them. In the case of the Prophet X, because it's also a sampler as well as a synthesizer, that just means that you can actually sample absolutely anything you want and have it on your keyboard and play with it. You can actually treat the samples within your keyboard and do pretty much anything you want. The fourth question is, what does the Prophet X give me that other synthesizers might not be able to offer? I think I've sort of answered that question already, but um, I think that the amount of modulation sources, the sound quality, the possibilities is definitely something that it's very hard to find in any other synth. Right, so the last question for today is whether I can give you any tricks on uh, the Prophet X. So uh, this is a sound that I've been working on for a while and it's basically a piano with a delay, a couple of delays actually on it. Uh, it's a dual layered modulation that I'm doing here. So basically I've got the first LFO modulating the time of the first delay, and then the second LFO is modulating the frequency of this first LFO, the frequency at which it is modulating the time of that first delay. And then I've got a second delay as well, which is there, just static, just as a nice delay, that's it. The first one is going to be the crazy one, right? And then on my right hand side of the of the keyboard, I've got a split, so I've got a choir of a, a lady singing. So that's what you'll hear now, all right? Hope you like it. That's it for me today. Thank you very much for listening. I'm Han from Mutant Thoughts. Please get in touch if you have any questions and um, stay safe. Cheers. Bye.